that it has done one kilometer has to walk for time to get. Here goes. It's been a while since you are you are not here in the island. Yes, like uh, from uh, the summer from 2022. Yeah, it, it was actually games camp. Yes, before yeah. games. Yes, I had some good uh, competitions like France, like Athens. Yeah, true. Like Madrid, mm. but before semis, uh, one and a half week I had uh, COVID and uh, I fucked up in semis. You know. Ah. And now, what are you looking forward to to see of yourself in this? in this season yeah. and uh, go hard on semis you know my main focus is the semis this year. like to see how i am overall right now yeah and to improve my some gymnastics upside down like custom walk and high skills like pullovers ramps you know they are known now we have a clean and jerk uh -huh. five uh, five times one clean two split jerks and after that we have five times uh, two squat cleans and one split jerk uh, who are you sharing bar with with the uh, greek the greek Karamis, my old friend <laughs> yes we are the same short oh, yeah? guys big weights you know short guys strong legs yeah. <laughs> uh, we can expect some heavy weights some heavy breathing and yeah blood and sweat <laughs> Now 135 feels like 145. Ah, my friend. Two lifts more? Two lifts more. I think plus two, it will be a uh, best two. All right. But the idea is technical proficiency with heavier weights because we're working in a range of like 80 to 85 percent, which is heavy but not super heavy. So athletes are still like thinking about like how they move and trying to move the barbell as efficiently as possible. Also it's a lot of lifts, so it's like 10 complexes, so that is quite a lot of at that weight, but we have like a longer rest than we uh, usually do sometimes with CrossFit. So uh, yeah, technical proficiency with heavier weights, that is kind of the goal of the session. Uh, some are stronger with the clean, some are stronger with the jerk. And obviously both of them make the last jerk harder because we have the pre-fatigue. So like making, especially on a heavy clean and jerk, if it comes up in competition, making your lift is crucial. And it sometimes comes down to the jerk after your legs are fatigued. So that's like a tool that is often used in weightlifting where you do two cleans, one jerk, or just like two jerks to just like train your proficiency with the jerk. anything because when you expect it's easy it's actually hard and when you expect it's hard it was actually really fine so now I'm like hmm, let's see I would say nothing yeah I would say nothing. you won't get anything from me yeah no <laughs> it's actually a hard workout because it's legs into legs into legs into legs <laughs> and we did legs into legs into legs Morning. You afraid to drop a dime when you already dropped a dime. Got a wife at home, but you steady on my line. Talking about shorty, you remember? Come on. Steady pace, and then you go. And then steady pace again, and then you go again. Barrel after the squats, I feel. Burn. 
I was more afraid for my shoulders actually with the swimming this morning and yesterday the bench. Just like to all for 30 reps, but the 30 kilo is light. Yes, but just like yeah. stamina. No. <laughs> the first round is kind of the most difficult one. No, Maybe no, just no, stay no, uh, no. with a for steady brace. It was the same all round. Fight is the same. Because you have a lot of stretch, but it's also light. Huh. The last one you have only 10 reps, but it's heavy. And so yeah, it's kind of same same. I was okay. I started a bit too slow. We were just discussing that I okay. have to attack a bit more from the beginning and work out like. Good, no? That's good, yeah, but barely. <laughs> like I just got my chin over the bar. It's a lot of legs, and we did a lot of legs yesterday as well. So uh, I wasn't sure if I could hold like a faster pace. But yeah, now I was able to like go a bit quicker in the last round on the bike, and yeah. So I think I should have started a bit faster and then just tried to hold on. <laughs> okay. I uh, needed a bit more practice with the holding the dumbbell. <laughs> Built a riot, thick ass cue to pull. Give a damn about whose box you keep listening when you don't even have one pot to piss in. Yeah, yes. I jump fast and then you jump. Okay? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes. We finished with some, some fun gymnastic stuff. It's four rounds, each four times, and it's a 15 meter handstand walk, 10 bama slaps, 15 meter handstand walk. And then you get approximately two minutes rest. This is how we do it. Um, you walk 7.5 meters out, and then you have to turn 180 degrees and walk back. If you miss the turn, you don't have to do the whole thing again, but you have to add the pirouette. Yeah push always always pushing each other yes did you like your new training partner of course 100 <laughs> percent you're gonna enjoy this so much uh, <laughs> yeah finally some gymnastics <laughs> Was uh, fighting against uh, yes. little Marcos. <laughs> I can't beat him, but I try to push him, you know? Yeah. I had to start hurry in my transition so I can... But the, for me, the last uh, hustle walk was very hard. The first was easy, bar muscle up, always easy, but the last hustle walk was due to shoulder fatigue. And I try to... every step. <laughs> you, you, but you know, th this guy doesn't think at all doing hustle walk. He's, uh, really? no that he has done one kilometer hustle walk for time. One kilometer? Yes. I, I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, I did. Uh, once Seven I did, uh, one meters every 30 walk. seconds. <laughs> for yeah. every minute. During uh, COVID, I got bored at home because I couldn't really train. So I did 1K handstand walk because I wanted to see... There's like a world record, I think. Max handstand walk in eight hours. 
and I wanted to see if I could break it, so I just did one kilometer to like test it. <laughs> what is the record? Uh, <laughs> one kilo? Uh, yeah, one. Uh, I don't know. It's what like eight, eight hours. It's like five kilometers. The world record. Mm. And, I, and I did one kilometer in 80 minutes, and it, like, it felt pretty good. Just my hands, were, like they were ripped at all because I did it on grass. N but next time you use gloves and yeah, that is better. <laughs> um, yeah, I really it's just like you've probably seen like the square on the floor, you know? Yeah, they, like the cross, yeah, the cross. And I just try to like keep my weight in the middle of the cross. Okay, so like, like you put your hands in the middle and the other one is turning. No, like so if here's the middle. Yeah. I always like lean towards the middle. So in the start, I lean this way, yeah. and then I do a quarter turn, and okay. I try to lean this way. So again, like to the middle of the cross. So basically, my my weight just stays in the middle, and then I just spin and around it. Do you change your um, legs position or back position, or it stays the same? I think it's the in the beginning, it's the best if you try to practice like in a straight line, okay. because. Yeah, the more loose you are, yeah, the more like things can change. Like the, there are more variables. So more straight. Yeah, the more straight you are, I think the more control you have. And then once you can do it really well, like it doesn't really matter anymore. So for example, me, if I am walking like this, then when I arrive, I should do this to turn, and then probably I can go back. The, yeah, at least in the beginning until you feel like really comfortable with the turns. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well done, everyone. Tomorrow it's back to the same schedule. So I like to do all schedules. So meeting at ten. Training until 12, resting until 14, and then second session until 16. So tomorrow's session will be a lot shorter. Okay, okay enjoy your rest. Unfortunately, I didn't qualify to semi. was my goal to go again for the mm -hmm. second year. Uh, I was also injured, so I had like four months really hard and not train like I wanted. So at this level, I think you cannot miss four months of training. Uh, but then, like since a year, I touched my head because I'm injury free. I'm training a lot. Uh, I feel good. Uh, so I'm looking forward for the season starting soon and the goal is to qualify to summit and even do well at summit so we'll see even if there is all the athletes here we are all doing like different programming so we never train together and uh, like the training camp like this is really good for me because I can like see where I am uh, on my crossfit uh, level and it's really good push and especially just before uh, the open. Right now we're going to ski, roll and do legless like, rope climbs uh, the guys are going to be on the long rope. This is like 20 feet, it's around 6 meters. And the girls, you will be on the rack in the back. Um, and the ropes, and you can use the ropes in between. There should be four ropes, so everyone should have a rope. Um, and the, so the number stays the same. So we're going to start the guys on the row, 1500 meters. The girls on the ski, also 1500 meters. Then it's off to the leg of rope climb. Four reps for everyone, then you come back, but then the guys are going to ski and the girls are going to row. You on those? Yeah. Yeah, Maria. You stay here, stay there. and then Christina there. Yeah. yeah. They are the direct <laughs> directors. Yeah. Ooh, are you ready? Let yes. me see your hands. Yeah. Pink Panther is ready. Pink Panther. Oh, it's hard one because we have nine rope climbs, legless, uh, in the six meters. It will be fun to watch. Yeah, I like it. It's not my best, but uh, I like rope climbs. What about your goals? Greek also love, you know, <laughs> it's one of my weaknesses, but it's good, but uh, it's, it's with a team who can push, you know, who can push all together, so it's good. You are supposed to beat those guys. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I have to give them a bit of a challenge. 
Like, but, like yesterday, actually. Yeah, yeah. But on this, I don't think. It's quite a lot of time on the machines, and uh, they're much better on the machines. But uh -huh. maybe I can make up some time on the road. Yeah. Cars. Yeah, just, to, just to, you have to push hard on those legless. And, yeah. Uh, and maybe, yeah, we'll see. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> I have my money on Giorgos. You have some money on Giorgos? Yeah. How much? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we have 10 legless rope climbs on a long rope, which is quite a lot, um, but I think this one also comes down to the conditioning and uh, being confident and having the capacity on the machines. Wasn't too bad. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I pushed. <laughs> Race. I pushed. Yeah, we raced. Ooh. Luckily, she was there because I will not push like this. If I was alone training. Yeah. <laughs> then at the third set, when I saw that I was near to Marcos, in my mind always thinking push, push more the X because he's better for me in legless because it's gymnast. My legless for me is a weakness, so I had to push my pace on the eggs to have extra seconds rest before my first rep of every set. So that works. It's okay. Happy with yourself? Yes, because uh, you know, I like pulling, but I don't like strict pulling, like uh, legless. And the combination with skierg, which is pulling, and row, which is pulling, it was extra hard for me. Mm. But I'm super happy. Yeah, I was really trying. Yeah. <laughs> On the second to last round, I tried to push the rope climb so maybe I could get to the machine first. But yeah, then I, I almost failed the rope climb. So yeah. But it is what it is. Sometimes you just have to try. <laughs> Oh my god, it was a uh, box and a uh, rock climb workout. 
I didn't know that he could face this.